In this tutorial, we will cover more of the tools Kinovia has to offer, including working with chronometers, measuring angles, and high-speed video. To begin, navigate to the frame you'd like to start your analysis from and set the working zone. Next, select the angle tool and click on the center of your joint. Drag one end up to the proximal joint marker and the other end to the distal joint marker. If the angle is reversed, simply right-click and select Invert Angle. To insert a chronometer, select the stopwatch icon and click anywhere in the workspace. Right click and select Configuration to access options such as color, font, or to label the chronometer. To begin recording with the chronometer, right click and select Start Stopwatch. It will begin counting once you play your video. Pause the video at the frame where you would like to measure the change in angle. Note that the stopwatch is reading an unlikely time count for the duration of the event. This is due to the fact that the video was recorded in high speed. To adjust the time display so that it accounts for your recording frame rate, right click anywhere in the workspace and select High Speed. Enter the frame rate that you recorded your video at to adjust the time. Now, select the angle tool again and remark the joint. You will be able to use the difference in angular position along with the duration of the movement to calculate average angular velocity. Join us next time to cover some of the advanced tools Kinovia has to offer, including grids, observational reference images, multipoint tracking, and data export.